This is the archive from Yeringberg, which dates from 1860s when Yeringberg was formed by the de Puri family. The archive material documents the intimate details of running a farm, so the day-to-day goings on, the comings and goings of the property and all of a sudden you see this reference to William Barrick um, building a Mia Mia and going hunting. Certainly what we've discovered um, through looking at the archive is that there was a relationship between the de Puri family and people at Corin Dirk, in particular William Barrick. it starts to come to life and you start to feel that the objects connected with these people. You see the illustrations of Victor de Puri who went on to paint the remarkable portrait of Barrack with Arthur Larrero um, while he was visiting at Yeringberg. We've got it documented, the actual painting of that picture in these diaries and all of a sudden Larrero's visiting. Um, you can get it right down to that day of him arriving and, and sitting with William Barrack uh, and Victor de Puri. In 1863, you've got Corin Dirk and you've got Yeringberg. You've got Corin Dirk with its hops and Yeringberg with its wine. So there's so many similarities between these two family stories side by side, these two human stories. It's kind of amazing. I suppose to me, of course, they're friends, they're neighbours. They're farmers, they were mates, you know, they respected each other as people regardless of their background, um, which, well, I always keep saying in those times, but maybe also right now, that's wonderful. I came across the painting that Barak had done of one of the de Puri's vineyards. And one of the things that's really struck me about that Barak painting of the vineyard is that a lot of Australian winemakers talk about this French concept called terroir. And it means that a wine from a specific place tastes of that place because of the soil and the weather and the climate and how the people grow the grapevines. That's what the interaction of all these things together produce terroir. But it's a French word, terroir. You know, and I've often said, why can't we come up with an Australian version of it? Because it's a really beautiful concept. I look at that painting of that vineyard, as far as I'm concerned, that, it, that painting is all about terroir. It was clearly a really strong friendship back in the 1860s, right through. Um, and that connection was very close then. Um, the connection it sort of had diminished, I think, over you know the past hundred years. But you know, this project um, has been fascinating to remake those connections with the local indigenous community. I really believe that Barak knew that we were coming, and even though it's taken a little while, it's been. Um, an absolute privilege to be a part of this rejuvenation, whether it's of Corin Dirk or of the story. Um, and I'm just so pleased that I'm able to be part of it. But I still really believe that he would have held on to some hope that perhaps some of his family in the future would reignite this conversation.